The launch was chaired by Governor Paus Pakop, who in his opening remarks said gender-based violence is a matter that should compel serious action and the country needs to do more because GBV affects the well-being and quality of life of half of the population. This revised strategy encompasses three pillars to firstly walk the talk and ensure that NCD becomes gold standard in gender equality, non-violence and anti-harassment. Pillar two, deliver accountability by ensuring all NCDC programs and contractors become leaders in ending GBV in the city. And pillar three, disrupt and demand by becoming a unified voice that disrupts, demands and delivers change at provincial and national level, engaging all other stakeholders and partners in an inclusive effort in increased awareness, behavioural change efforts and the removal of identified barriers to improve efficiencies at structural, legal and political levels. And unless we deal with it seriously in a tangible way, the overall development of our people in our country will never be realized. We'll keep on missing our goals, the development goals of our nation. And for me, in our capital city, the issue is real. Every day, and I repeat, every day, women in our capital city, girls in our capital city, face so much violence. Of different levels. Pakop says this NCDC strategy is specific to the capital city because the dynamics of a combination of cultures and ethnic groupings needs a tailored approach to address GBV appropriately. He says they cannot wait for the national strategy to be implemented because the General Lynn Kennedy case is an example of how broken the systems are and public outrage shows people want authorities to take immediate action to protect the country's women and girls. Our goal in our capital city is that we want a thriving city where all people have hopes and opportunity and feel safe and supported by caring families, strong communities and responsible government. Hannah Jerko, TV1 News.